What is up everybody? Welcome to Boosted Motorsports. In today's video, we're gonna be working on the Dodge Ram 1500 SRT10 with the Viper engine, but we're not gonna be doing too much with the engine. This video is gonna show you guys how to plastidip the emblems. So we've already done a bunch of stuff to this truck. If you guys are new to the channel, we've lowered it. We put on 24 inch wheels and we're kind of de-chroming the whole truck so there was originally a chrome grill in the front we went with the black honeycomb and we also got rid of the chrome headlights and went with a black housing so you guys can probably figure out by now we are going to want to get rid of the chrome badges on there so there's the chrome badges here and there's also chrome badges on the back of the truck and what we're going to do is plastic dip them so that it's reversible and it's gonna tie in with the rest of the look of the truck. So first things first, I've got Plastidip dip over here. I've got a brand new fresh can, but I also have a bucket over here and we are gonna be putting warm water in this and letting the can of Plastidip dip sit in it for 20 minutes. Reason being is this stuff is kind of thick and when you put it in warm water, even though it's warm outside and the ambient temps are warm, it actually makes it spray finer and the atomization is better so we will get less likely to have textured uh, surface or finish on our emblems once we're done. So this will make this spray better. So go ahead, we'll put in some hot water. Uh, nothing too crazy, you don't wanna blow the can up, but some warm water, we'll leave it in the bucket for 20 minutes. And then uh, in the meantime, we can mask everything up while this warms up. So let's get to it. So here we are with some warm water, we'll put it in the bucket. And we'll drop it in, carry our bucket back out to the garage and we'll go. All right, so while that sits and hangs out for about, I don't know, 20 minutes, we're gonna mask up this. So with Plastidip, what you can do is you don't have to tape this off perfectly. We are gonna go as close to the emblems as possible with our masking tape, and then the rest we will just do with newspaper. So I'm gonna come in, I don't know, maybe quarter of an inch off this emblem and across. We'll kind of do a box here, and we'll just paper everything up, and uh, we'll do that. I'm using, you know, painter's tape, just blue tape and newspaper, nothing too fancy. We'll get this all set up. We're also gonna get the, the back one done too, and uh, we'll get moving here. Okay guys, so I got all that masked up. That's pretty much what I did. So I left a little bit, maybe you know, a quarter of an inch or so around the perimeter of the emblem. But what we're gonna do is spray completely across this and then we'll end up just peeling it and it's gonna break right at the actual emblem. So I wanna make sure we aren't gonna get any overspray on the actual vehicle. So that one's done. We'll go ahead and move around to the back and the other side. So we've got this all plastered up. We just gotta do the driver's side and then we can start painting. So there we go. It's all papered up and let's go back to our can. So one last thing is just make sure there's nothing on your emblems. This vehicle's stored indoors and it's already clean. So not really any issue, but I might rub off a couple little water spots that I'm seeing. But you wanna make sure obviously that everything is clean, grease free and dry. If there's anything on it, she's going to be on it for a while if you don't get it off now. So go ahead, take a few minutes, clean them up, and then we'll be ready to spray. Okay, now we'll take our warm can out of here. We're going to shake it for about one minute, and then we'll be ready to spray. And we're going to do light, even coats. So um, that's the plan as far as what our tactics is going to be with it. So we'll shake it up, one minute, and we'll go. All right, here we go, guys. We'll just start it on the paper just so we get any junk out. See that nice mist, so. Hopefully you guys can see in the camera here, it is misting on real nice, so. Just gonna get a nice light coat on it for the first one. I think that's gonna pretty much do it. Just get the end of there. And I'm gonna go move on to the other emblems as well. So we're gonna be doing three to four coats of this whole thing. So that's a pretty good one for our first one.
good for that one. Okay guys, so we're gonna let all this dry for about 30 minutes and then we can do another coat on all three emblems. So here's how things are looking about half an hour later. So it's looking really smooth. So uh, we're gonna try the same way and uh, happy with how it's coming out. Also, I kept my can in warm water so that we're ready for round two so that it's still gonna spray nice. So let's go ahead and put on our second coat. So we'll let all these dry, another 30 minutes, and then we'll move on to the third coat. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put coat three. Make sure you shake the can, it's in the hot water. Let's go ahead and do it. All right guys, so that is the third coat. I could almost call it at that, but I'm gonna do one last and final coat. So wait another 30 minutes, we'll put on the fourth and I think that's done. I honestly could probably call it at this third, but we'll do one more just so it's a little bit more durable and uh, we should be able to eventually pull this off. Here we go, fourth coat. All right guys, let's rip all this stuff off and then we can do the fun part of peeling it. Woo! So you pretty much just pull it gently because you want it to come all out, otherwise you'll have to be picking it out with something, but you kind of just let it tear right up against the emblem like you see there and it kind of just works its magic so just make sure it doesn't pull up off the actual letters but it usually draws a pretty clean nice line like you can see there so there's all our paper off now we got to get into some of these areas so we'll grab something that we can get in there and kind of pick that out so that we have our white underneath and then we kind of have to we have to just use something here, quick detail or something, so that we can clean up just our glue from our tape and all that stuff. So I'm gonna use something like this, just to kind of pick at the plastic in between. I need something to roll it that's not gonna damage our paint. So something like this should do the trick. We just gotta get a gra grab of it and lift it up. So let me pick at this stuff and we'll get it out. Okay, get these tiny little pieces out of here, but just be gentle and patient with it and they'll come out like that. And there's the rest of that part of the S. We gotta get it this side now. Picked out all those. Woo wee, look at that you guys. That is looking fresh. Next on them wheels. God dang. All right, let's remove the rest of it. So we got the paper and all that stuff on the next. So let's just rip right through. You guys. Take a look at how good this looks. I know it's a little bit dark on this side, but 
It looks so good with those dark bronze wheels. I'm super pumped with how this looks. Check it out. And then I'll show you guys the rear. Boom. So there's how the back all looks. And then next question for you guys is this. Should we do it white? I have white plastic. I was debating trying it white just to kind of do some ghost emblems. Or do we do it black like that? I know it'll look good black, but I was thinking of just experimenting a little bit or maybe just trying it white to see how it looks before we make it black, but can't go wrong with how that looks. And I'll show you guys what it looks like on this side. That looks amazing, you guys. Looks so much better than before, especially with the black headlights and the black grill now. She is coming together beautifully. All right, you guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you liked it. I am super pumped and happy with how it came out. So I hope you guys like how it came out, but definitely let me know down below whether you guys wanna see us try those emblems, the front one, the ram head ones, whether you wanna see them in white, we'll just try it. If it looks terrible, then we'll go black, or should we just cut to the chase and just do them black as well? So, and then at that point, this truck will pretty much be fully de-chromed. Only thing I need to get is just different antenna mast and then that should take care of most of the chrome on the truck and I think it looks a lot more slick and a lot more fast and performance oriented. So I wasn't a huge fan of the chrome, but she's coming along beautifully. Anyways, guys, make sure you're subscribed. Also turn on that bell that's next to the subscribe button. It'll make sure that you're notified of all the latest videos and the new ones that come out. And uh, check out our other channel. We've got a couple now, so check them both out. We're posting on both. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.